Okay, welcome to my tutorial on creating a laser beam in Blender. Uh, it's a real common effect in sci-fi and video games, so let's get started. Here's the basic model we're going to be working with. Uh, it's an old sci-fi uh, fighter that I threw together. It's called the Star Fury. If you recognize it, you're probably a nerd like me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and texture it real quick here. And that's what it looks like with textures. Uh, you'll notice I've kept the lights pretty dim to emphasize the laser beam flash when it goes off. I've also added some flames to the back, and I'll show you guys how to do that at the end, but it's not very complicated. So what I want to do now is go ahead and show you the final shot that we're going for in slow motion. It's going to kind of look like this, right here. So you can see we got the beams coming out, beams coming out, and then one hit right here on camera, and just kind of fly by. And again, this is uh, what we're going to be going for. Now this is made up of four basic elements. You got your muzzle flash right there. Then you got your impact light when the laser hits. You got your lights against the body. And then you have your actual laser beams. And once again it all comes together to look like this as a final product. So let me take you guys through the process of building this. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do the easy part first, which is the green lights against the body. Um, and I can show you this is my final model here. And this is actually one of the easier uh, parts to do. And I believe they're here. Yeah. So these are the actual lights. And all they are is just four green lamps. So you can see that all I've done uh, is I've positioned them out in front of the fighter itself and when they light up they just give that green glow against the body and I'm sure that you guys can create and position lamps and probably you guys are not going to need a lot of help with that aspect. Uh, the thing about this that's worth looking at is here this is my animation window okay um, you can see that I've animated I haven't animated the motion of the lamps but I've animated uh, the lamp feature down here you can see instead of uh, object, I've animated the lamp. And what I've done is I've animated the energy. Uh, we've started here at zero energy when the lasers aren't going off, and I've put them on kind of a steep curve up to an intensity of three, or excuse me, an energy of three, uh, for the peak of the beam being fired, and then I've come back down to zero. And so you can see that because each gun shoots twice during the shot, I've got a peak and then another peak. Right? And so that's here for those, actually here, that's for the top lights and then when I go to the bottom lights you can see that they've shifted a little bit uh, because they're offset by 10 frames so first the top lights will fire and then well not fire, the top lights will illuminate and then the bottom lights will illuminate and that's basically all I did uh, and then how you, all you would do in order to do that is you'd go down here to your energy set it like let's say I know that this is my peak time and I wanted energy level 3 so I go down here set it to 3 pick my color uh, and then I just go ahead and I hit I insert energy done and really that's all there is to it so that's pretty much the lights okay before I go any further I need to give you guys a quick intro if you're not familiar with the particle system in Blender and halo material in Blender. Uh, so I actually just opened up a new scene here as you can see. So what I'm going to do is look at it and of course this is what happens when you animate uh, just the default screen in Blender. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, add a material to this, material 1. I'm going to click the halo material down here. I'm going to render it again. And as you can see there are, uh, instead of showing the faces, they actually show up as halo lights. And I haven't done anything except for click the halo box down here. And as you go go to the shaders tab here, there's different settings, halo size. Change your halo size, you get uh, more of a halo effect around the particles. Uh, when you increase the add, you can see it's more intense towards the center. And when you increase the hardness, well in this case it doesn't really do a heck of a lot, but it does do things uh, depending on how you have it set up and I'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, so what you want to do here uh, is use this to create a, a laser beam. We also use it to create the flame uh, coming out of the back of the of the jet. So 
that's basically and you, of course you can change your color to anything you want you want something red there you go there's red or in, case, in our case green so light green and I, I mean for the best effect you'd probably go ahead and uh, change your world color to something approaching black like that and that'll just give you an idea of you know what you're looking at there for a laser beam and as I said that's really simple and that's how halo particles work so what or halo materials work excuse me so actually the next thing I need to do is go ahead and show you guys how emitters work out uh, particles rather so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and oops we'll just turn this cube into an emitter actually just kill all the faces except for that one. Alright. That's our face, that's our emitter. So I'm just going to click this down here, which is the object tab, and I'm going to switch over to particles. I'm going to add a particle system. Okay. Oops, I'm not there at all. Okay, add particle system, and it's going to be emitter. Uh, we're going to create, say, a thousand particles. That's fine. Start from one, and that. Uh, and you can look up the Blender documentation for exactly what all of these settings mean. Uh, normal just means uh, how fast they're leaving the emitter, though. Um, so we'll put for this make 40. Excuse me. And we're going to animate that. All right. And as you can see, we've got particles shooting off of here now. So let me go back here. We're going to hit random. Uh, come on, random and even. Looks like my blender froze there for a second. Okay. Come on, back to the beginning. All right. So that's basically how you shoot things in Blender. Dang it. Give me one second here. There you go, and you see your particles kind of flying off, and of course you can animate that. So that's a quick intro to the particle system and the uh, Halo material in Blender, and it'll let you understand what it is that we're going to be doing next. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be doing is the beam, uh, laser beam, and the muzzle flash. So if you remember the Halo particles from the last part, that's all that the muzzle flash is. Uh, let me just get rid of the fighter here for a second and you can see oops actually it's on this layer that here's one two and they're, they're just these a couple of particles literally uh, in front of the cannons of halo material so let me pull this up for you here's my halo material uh, that I've used and you can set up the halo material kinda any way you want just play with the settings Okay, so all I've done for that is I've animated it similar to the way I animated the lamps. And I've animated the alpha and the halo size. Uh, this halo size should actually drop to zero, but it doesn't matter because the alpha is already at zero. Uh, similar uh, explanation as the lamps. You just want them to peak uh, when they hit the actual point where the weapons are firing and then kind of fade back down. All right and you insert them the same way not much with that uh... one thing i do want to show you guys real quick is that for the uh... where'd it go okay i've used a star uh... for the halo effect here and all that does is you can see uh, that's a bad shot but Okay, yeah, you can see that it just has a star coming off of the individual halo particles here. Uh, it just looks a little cooler, I think. And then for the beams, which are down here in this layer, uh, all these are, these are particle effects. And they just use the particle system that I showed you before. And I'll just play this real quick. It's the same as that cube that we did, except, as you can see, they shoot really rapidly away from the uh, emitters. Okay, so I had my settings for that. Uh, come on. Come on. All right. 
Uh, so I just used 500 of them. I started, uh, you want to offset these so they fire at the right times. Uh, and of course, you, again, you can look up all these settings in the Blender documentation. And I just made them fly away really fast. And I actually had one set of, uh, or one emitter for each shot, which is kind of a dumb way to do it. There's a better way I could have done it, but it, it does work. So, let's see if I. There you go. That's just the beam. And you can see that what I did is I used that add feature of the halo particle. And so because of that, uh, it looks like one solid beam instead of individual particles, which it actually is. So hopefully that uh, gives you guys a, at least a quick intro to how to use halo particles and or halo materials and particle systems to create the muzzle flash and the beam. Okay, there's only one more element remaining here, and that's the impact light when the laser beam hits the ship. Uh, and all that is is a simple spotlight. Uh, and I'll, I've just rigged it. Dang it. Okay. It's a simple spotlight with the uh, buffer shadow and the halo turned on. And so when you're looking right at it, uh, that's a really bad example. When you're looking right at it, it'll just kind of show you. Yeah, it's just pointing right at the camera, and it just kind of blinds you, uh, and gives you a little bit of a whiteout effect. And I've animated that light the same way I animated the other lights, right? So that's all there is to it, uh, other than the actual camera, which I didn't really cover. Uh, and the camera, uh, all I did for that is I just rotated the camera around the model, uh, and then. Here it is. I just parented the camera. There's your camera. I got too much stuff going on, but it's all right. See, I just parented the camera to the circle so I can spin it. And then, as the camera approached the point where it hits or it gets hit, I just added a little bit of uh, jiggle to it, so it looks like it got hit by the beam. Uh, and that's pretty much all there is, uh, other than the flame. The flame coming off the back of the ship, which is you look at it here it's just one more particle effect and the settings are a little different, the colors a little different uh, but that's really all that there is okay that about wraps up this tutorial because I'm about out of time so thanks for watching and best of luck to you guys when you're making effects like that in the future uh, don't hesitate to uh, shoot me an email if you have any questions so thanks a lot